on, on, it's the time doing the morning show. Draco got that kickback when I blow that They all do track, they don't shoot back One shot, close range, grab that head tie Yeah, I did that, yeah, I lit that Call up Uber with my shooter with a So, hi guys I'm back at you with another video And today, I'm gonna be trying this Bobby pin hat that I seen on YouTube It went viral a couple months ago The first person that I seen do this with this YouTuber that I watch. Her name is Vib. Well, her channel name is Vib Hair Th Therapy. And she used these bobby pins to get this kind of twist out look. And she used almost a thousand. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I think I'm going to only be using, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to 100. Because unless you got, unless you planned out two days of your life to spend on this, then I suggest that you don't go out and buy a thousand body pins. So, I've already did the bag because I won't plan on showing y'all that anyways. So, I'm going to just show you how I do the front. And I think I'm on... 68 right now so i probably i'm probably going to make it to 100 over 100 i've got these bobby pins from the dollar store for a dollar comes with 100 pieces in the pack and i got two of those no one i want to use all them but if you want yours to turn out like hers and i i suggest you go over her or go over there to her channel because I just can't do it. I just don't got the time and the patience. She, her parts are like this small per body pin. Mine's aren't that much bigger. They're about this big because I'm just, I just don't got time for that. Like, but yeah, let's just get into this video. but I'm gonna just continue on this side and you see I got it parted where I want it to be because most likely I'm not going to end up separating these so my parts need to be like exact well that part needs to be exact the rest of them is really okay look at that so my front I'm gonna make really small because this is like the front is like your most important part like the rest is important too but your front needs to be long and if i just sat here and spent an hour or two doing this then it needs to come out looking like something like something so i guess i'm just probably pin that over there for now so stay for now and I'm gonna just separate these in two parts. It's just whatever. Two parts. And I'm a. What? What's. Stay. There. So I'm gonna take some of my product. And I'm apply it to this little bitty section that I've made. Really? Yeah, I'm you definitely recording. Right, so I didn't already kind of mastered a little bit of how I need to do this. So what I do 
I take the bobby pin and I open it up. I twist the roots because it'd be hard to get the bobby pin around all my hair without missing it. And then I just start wrapping it over, under, over, under, and to I reach the end of my hair. And I make sure I get my ends in there too, most definitely. So, so then take another bobby pin and I open it up just a little. All right. So then I stick it in between those two bobby pin legs I guess and I push it up in there so now it's like hope you can see that it's like right in between these two so hold it in place now I didn't get my root root because I just didn't do it I don't really have any explanations for why I don't do things you know I just do what I do but and I take in my other part and I just repeat this process. I'm like, let me show y'all one more time before I put it in fast motion. Alrighty, so I open my bobby pin up like that. I twist the root so I can get it around it. And then I always put the bobby pin facing the way my hair is going to be flowing. So like, it won't be like, it won't be sticking this way when it's really supposed to be laying this way because if I was to turn it upside down like this then most likely it's going to be sticking up this way so I face the bobby pin down and I go over and under over and sometimes I have to hold it open because it might get tight and start closing on me if I hold it open. I go over and under and over and under and under until I reach the end. Taking my second bobby pin, opening it just a little, and I'm sticking it right in between there, hold it in place, ba bam and I just hope this isn't a fail. I pray that it isn't a fail because I just spent like three hours working on this. So, I guess I'm going to just let y'all watch.
oh y'all i forgot to count so i was on 68 when i started showing now so this would be 70 72 74 so lost track there for a moment but i'm on 74. bobby pins around where I said I would and I know it's looking a little rough right now okay but hopefully these curls turn out you know I always say decent decent for everything but no these better be the best curls I didn't ever had like no none of that this better be decent. This better look good. This better look good. Because I didn't put my heart and my soul into this. I know it looks a little rough right now because it's still wet. And, and it's just, and my parts, they're not as small. But they better come out looking somewhat how they're supposed to be looking. Or me and these bobby pins going to have a problem. But yeah, I'm gonna let this dry. Probably it'll probably take the whole day and night to let this dry. And I'm gonna be back when it's dry. So, all right, guys, it's actually the next day because I just wanted to let it dry fully, fully because these need to come out slate. So, I guess I'm gonna test one of them. Really, just fell out by itself. I'm just sliding it back out. Wow, that's cool. That's 
kind of cool, I guess. Let me try another one. I'm pushing the bottom one out first, and then I go back and I push out the top one. Maybe I should just wait to the end to decide whether I like it or not. So I'm just go ahead and take the rest of these down. <laughs> down they for the most part they all look like this except for like a few in the back like this one and this one but it's okay so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my um wide suits comb and like fluff out the roots on so it won't be so on my head like you know what I'm saying so yeah I do not comb through the hair like this just messes up the curls like I move it then I go through the roots and then I move this part and I go through the roots and I keep doing that until I am satisfied because you don't never want to comb through your curls that you just took so long to define. Okay, so I'm done fluffing, and I mean, it don't look exactly like hers, but I mean, it's not bad, so I mean, I guess that means it's good, I guess, because I mean, it still has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of definition, but not as much definition. And a little frizz, but all hair is different, so my hair might not respond the way hers responded. I didn't use the same product, so you know. But yes, tell me, let me know if you think this was worth my time and my effort. You see, it? tell me, was this really worth all? Of my time and effort maybe you should let me know down in the comment section but yeah guys that's basically it for this video so I'm gonna see you guys next time peace